girl Lavika. So guys, on today's episode, according to the title, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to be telling those that need to be on this table. If you are looking to date, you're on this table. This video is for you. If you are cutting someone, this video is too for you. If you are planning on, you know, getting into a very serious relationship or taking your relationship forward, this is what you should like kind of look into before getting into marriage. Because apart from love, for those that want to get married, I feel like before you get into a marriage, there are other things you need to look out for before saying, okay, this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Because whether you believe it or not, there are sometimes in our lives that when we get to a stage, we start falling out of love. So when there are these things, these things I'm about to talk about, in such relationship, you are, you know, getting relaxed and convinced that you are at the right place. Let's get into the video, guys. So, I'm going to be telling you things you should look out for in a man before proceeding into having a relationship with him. Let's get into it. So, the first thing is, is his ability to be able to understand that he has a tendency of making mistakes. That is ability for him to understand that he can make a mistake if you are dating someone that is saying that i don't believe that they can ever make mistake i feel like you're in the wrong place there is nobody that is perfect except the lord jesus christ so every other person is born to make mistake if you're in that kind of relationship whereby your spouse believe that they can never make mistake they are always right in everything i feel you should look into it again before getting into a relationship with that person because if you cannot talk to each other then what do we have to give nothing then on that thing it must be honest what i mean by it must be honest is his ability to say what he mean and mean what to say that means when i when i'm talking about honesty i I'm, i like someone to be i like a very honest person because i feel like if you are honest it tends to make us understand ourselves better you cannot be saying hey and be meaning see it is wrong you should be able to say this and when i say come back to ask you i say saying this is what you say do you get me the person has to be very very honest that's to be clean the person has to be direct it can't be like this like this like this like this no he has to be an honest and truthful person another thing i feel like you should look into is he has to be kind your spouse or whoever you're looking to date has to be kind what i mean by has to be kind is it you will feel like oh, it's kind to you, whatever, whatever, as long as it's kind to you guys. No. I feel like in order for him, for you to know whether he or she is kind, you tend to look at the way he or she treats people. Look at the way you treat people, look at the way you respond to people, look at the way you listen to people, look at the way you know he responds to things that people say. Because if he is kind to only you. That will not last. That shows that he's, not, he's still pretending. He has not shown his, his or her real color. So I feel like looking at the way he or she treats other people is a way of knowing if we will be able to treat you better. For those of you that will be saying, mm -hmm, this is my own point of view. So do not take offense in it. If you feel like what I've said is wrong, I know, I just feel like I'm, I'm just sharing my own point of view to ladies out there or men out there that are looking to go into a serious relationship or looking to go into a relationship with a, with anybody. So please, the person has to be kind. Don't take that for granted. Don't take it for a joke. It might, it might sound so cheap that kind, kind, kind. It might sound so cheap, but it's a very serious thing. Look at how you cheat other. If you can cheat other like trash, my sister, my brother, with time, when the time comes, the pretense will be over and will treat you the same way as cheated other people. You just have to accept the way it is. Another thing, selfless. Your spouse or who you are looking to date must be selfless. Selfless in the sense that if I have 10 naira, and okay, that 10 naira is all I have. Okay, this is the last 10 naira I have with me. I'm not really looking into anything, but I have this 10 naira. And my spouse or my boyfriend or whoever I'm dating, needed tenera for something that is very very important i myself we both know that this thing is of importance and i'm not giving it out i'm not giving it to him like, i'm not okay take this tenera and just for what what use it for at that time then i'm not selfless the person must have the ability to, be able to give out without thinking give out and expect that okay um, okay i'll surely get another one because i you know that the person actually need that tenera at the time it was an urgent thing so you should be able to you know consider compromise you should be able to compromise for whoever you are looking to date or your spouse another thing 
your spouse must be patient he must be patient she must be patient i know that there are some especially for the females i know that females tend to need a lot of patience man because we tend to have a lot of you know in our lives females need a lot of patience so you guys have to understand i know that some females are extremely patient but even as they are extremely patient they still need someone that will still be patient with them it's just like when i say this person is very strong and sometimes that this person will actually need a shoulder to lean on so the fact that the person is strong is not mean that the person doesn't need someone a shoulder to lean on no another thing the person must be courageous must be courageous in the sense that he is willing to stand for what is right even when the thing is embarrassing that the fact that the thing is right is something like okay i take away that this thing this is where i am this is where just like you say that okay stealing your mom's money from your bag you might feel my say oh, it's not a big deal blah, blah, blah. everybody do it yeah i know everybody do it but the fact that he's still saying that this is wrong this is the right thing to do do not take it instead of it to steal you should just ask standing for what is right is being courageous to me i don't know about you another thing is the person must be faithful must be faithful must be truthful must believe the world and everything i feel like it's another important thing that every female should know or every male should look into another thing is that the person must have equality in mind gender equality you shouldn't say you shouldn't say okay because i have a girlfriend she has to do the cooking she has to do the laundry no i cannot be washing i'm doing the laundry now washing plate or cooking and my boyfriend or my fiance or my husband is somewhere playing game are you joking with me no 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 no. that's not it i feel like you should be able to work, help ourselves you know out with things and everything if you cannot help me out with things then what are we doing what are we doing we are not doing anything and i feel like we should it's acceptance acceptance is another thing that we should look into if your spouse your boyfriend your girlfriend your partner cannot accept you the way you are for instance this is a chubby girl and you're not saying you are too big the tummy is fat. You did it. You need to slim down. Hello. Did you see her before you get into the relationship in the first place? And you, this choppy girl, forget that man. He's not the right guy for you. You need someone that has to, that will always make you happy. If he's the kind of person that complains about every little thing, you are looking, you are looking so bigger. You are looking this. Do not even waste your time. Don't convince yourself anymore. Just walk out of that relationship. Or don't even go into that relationship at all. Why would you be complaining that she has grown big or she look fat or she there's a way of there's a way you can actually correct somebody and the person will actually adjust without feeling bad. For instance, if I feel that my husband is getting big tummy, I can easily say, baby, let's go to the gym, let's go and gym, let's gym at fast and give ourselves ginger and vibes. Not to be telling him, why do you have pot tummy? You look ugly. You did this, you did you are actually killing their self-esteem you're not making them happy and i believe that any relationship that you're in and you're, not, and you're not being happy you should just work out of that relationship do not bother trying to make it work if that that individual you're dating or your partner is not seeing that they have to accept you the way you are you are in the wrong place you are in the wrong place you need to leave that place right away i think that's one of the most it's one of the issues that we are facing in society you see, when I married my wife, she, she was slim because she gave birth. She had, she had become very fat. She said, that is rude. She gave birth to your child. So you should not look at her as, as a debt. No. You should try to pamper her and, and if you feel like you want her to reduce the way she looks, there's a way you can do it with love. If anyone cannot accept you, just walk out of the relationship. And I hope you learned one or two things from this video. Do not forget to like this video, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, share the video. You know, see you in my next video, guys. Bye.